Well, listen, it's a classroom crisis, a shortage of teachers made worse by stress and burnout for those still on the job. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nicole Baker. Now, this is not just here in Baltimore. Teachers all across our region, they are feeling the pressure. And now some school districts really taking steps to keep them physically and mentally well. That's key. WJZ's Live Tonight, Rachel Carden, shows us what they're doing and how they're doing it. Hey, Rachel. That's right, Rick and Nicole. So we did hear back from Howard, Baltimore, and Carroll County schools, all saying that they're trying to make sure teachers don't get too overwhelmed, too burnt out. The city also taking major steps to make sure their teachers are able to finish out the school year. Many teachers had their world flipped upside down in 2020 when students and staff were sent home to learn from in front of a screen. Then this year, to get sent back to the classroom with a slew of new rules. It's like totally just flipping a switch from going to virtual to in person. Sally Curvin has sympathy for teachers everywhere, many of whom are expressing fatigue and burnout as the school year marches on. So if they need some extra help, let's give it to them. The Baltimore Teachers Union says many teachers, faculty, and staff members feel like they're drowning. A lot of the burnout is a result of additional tasks that staff members are expected to take on. So Baltimore City School CEO Dr. Sonia Santelises is asking the school board to vote on allowing teachers to have a few additional days off this year as well as more time to get their work done. Everything from postponing deadlines for certain uh, programmatic supports to start an extra day uh, the week of Thanksgiving. It really is a combination of things. But BTU members say these steps in the right direction are still not quite enough. So that we can and actually make certain that we're providing the time and structure and format of uh, that mental health support. Howard County added six more half days to their school calendar so teachers can use them for professional or personal needs. And Carroll County Schools tell WJZ there are no new initiatives going into effect this year, hoping it allows teachers enough time to focus on the many tasks they already have. And again, we did hear from Baltimore County Schools. They say they're also looking at their school calendar to see if they can add any virtual days or half days to the remainder of the school year. Also pushing all of the resources they have to their staff members again for mental health. We're live in Northwest Baltimore. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.